coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers. Carbon Cub UL eyed for production in 2025. Fisher Flying Products moving full speed ahead. Affordable Flying Expo announced for Lakeland, Florida. And I'm your host, Colin Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sport Plane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Carbon Cub UL eyed for production in 2025. Officially, the Carbon Cub UL and Rotax 916IS is now in its market survey development phase, meaning it's just about to head into the oven, but the recipe isn't inked just yet. Cubcrafters VP Brad Dom wants to see everyone chip in with their two cents to see how they feel about the prospective aircraft. So far, everything that's been shown off paints a very attractive portrait of a lightweight, capable, eager little bird, boasting an empty weight, quote, well behind 900 pounds, end quote, and an impressively efficient 160 horsepower. All the math checks out, all the parts selected, and options list populated. But Cubcrafters is keeping its ear to the ground, with plans to begin full production in 2025. Patrick Horgan, president and CEO of Cubcrafters, explained, quote, It was a tall order to make an aircraft like the Carbon Cub lighter, stronger, and even more capable than it was before. But we've done that with the UL version. Even being a full-sized aircraft, it is light enough that it legitimately has the capability to carry two people, fuel, and baggage at LSA weights of under 600 kilograms. In the EAB category, it can have more useful load than its own empty weight, end quote. After the break... Junkers finally corrects the A-50 Junior with a radial engine. thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Hearts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Junkers finally corrects the A-50 Junior with a radial engine. Junkers aircraft arrived at Sun and Fun with a much-requested variation of their A-50 LSA, replacing the original Homage's nose-mounted Rotax engine with a much more period-accurate Scarlet 7 radial engine. The new model is called the A-50 Heritage, differentiating it from the Rotax-powered version that caught so much attention in 2023. Montair grows with new service provider and operator. Ocala Aviation Flight Services announced a partnership with Montair Aircraft that will see them use the MC-1 aircraft as the primary trainer in its Part 61 and Part 141 operations. The agreement, quote, marks a significant step in Ocala Aviation's mission to modernize its training fleet, enhance operational efficiency, and provide unparalleled training experiences to its new students, end quote. The relationship will also see Ocala take up the role of service provider for the MC-1 aircraft, providing sales, training, and support to would-be Montair customers. Dynan and Advanced Flight Systems unveil Jumpstart Kit Dynan Avionics and Advanced Flight Systems showed off their Advanced Panel Advanced Control Module at Sun and Fun, granting home builders a nicely trimmed, streamlined suite of options to speed up their general hassles of avionics wiring. The Advanced Control Module, or ACM, can now be bought as part of the ACM Jumpstart Kit, granting a, quote, groundbreaking avionics control center that revolutionizes aircraft electrical system management, end quote. It, quote, seamlessly integrates and automates a wide range of common aircraft avionics, aircraft systems, wiring, and electrical peripherals to save time and enhance safety, end quote. Vans Aircraft gives optimistic update. 
Vans Aircraft posted a short video recapping the goings-on around their reorganization as they continue to move away from the brink. And by all accounts, things are going great. Clyde Hammerstreet indicated that things are going pretty well in the Chapter 11 process, and they expect their reorganization plan to be approved by the court come May. Their plan for reorganization hinges on restructuring nearly all existing contracts between suppliers, contractors, clients, and customers, which can often torpedo any prospective deal in the process. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Fisher Flying Products moving full speed ahead. CKD Aerospace hit the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview with a couple goodies right off the bat, updating fans on their line of kit aircraft, Fisher Flying Products. Of note, Richard Kazmarek, director of CKD, said that further sales of spruce would be hard to expand since the global supply of quality wood is all spoken for. Quote, Fisher's goal is now to bring the Fisher product line into the modern age so that it's still affordable for the builder to build, easy for us to manufacture, and move it forward. End quote. Now, Fisher Flying products are looking to move from spruce into rag and tube. Thankfully, Dacron, steel, composites, and aluminum are quite plentiful today, so they'll do just fine with the Ehawk, Dakota Hawk, Archon, and more. The Ehawk will be Fisher's first foray into pure battery-powered flight, promising two hours of flight time using a Kite Magnetics motor. The Archon, Fisher's eye-catching little stealth fighter LSA, has been given an additional model in the SF-2, a tandem seat version of the single-seat SF-1. That larger model eschews the original Rotax 503 for a larger 100-horsepower engine provided by white-label Chinese manufacturer Sonsen, although a Rotax option is also available. After these messages, Affordable Flying Expo announced for Lakeland, Florida. Welcome back. Affordable Flying Expo announced for Lakeland, Florida. The Affordable Flying Expo is on the books for January 9th through the 11th of 2025. The new fly-in offers a well-timed excuse to take the family down south to enjoy the Florida sunshine in the same excellent facilities as Sun and Fun. The Affordable Flying Expo will focus on the love of flight and all things that bring it into reach of the average fun-loving pilot. Everyone is invited, from pilots and AMTs to manufacturers and owners. The expo will give the people what they need, with workshops and education rounding things out inside the hangars. Plenty of aircraft and exhibits will also be on hand, giving everyone in the family a little eye candy to walk by and enjoy. The Affordable Flying Expo will boast plenty of opportunities to inspect some aircraft, getting shoppers up close and intimate with new aircraft as they navigate the lengthy and stressful purchase process. It's hard enough as it is to canvas a whole category of aircraft and settle on one particular plane after judging all its competitors, but it's near impossible to be content with a purchase without a whole lot of test flying beforehand. The Expo will fix that by giving pilots a nice, low-pressure, enthusiast-focused event with room to breathe. The Expo is for the people and pilots above all. Find out more at affordableflyer.com. Much more info to come. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.